third go, and Darren Fenley is an immediate casualty in the hands of Waller. Terry Hill's taken out Seeksy. Swinburne's gone as well, and Overland, Kingston, and Norman to the early melee. Scott Cornish in early trouble as well. And it is going to be Tom Waller, Craig Osborne, Danny Sutton, and Colin Riddell. Boxer Jack in the rest. An absolutely frantic start where the Ogilvy has come to grief over the top turn. And shortly now comes to grief down here in front of us against Clover by Chubby. 113 right, he dumps out the luck with Spenley. And it's Osborne from Waller, Sutty, Riddell, Smith, and Boxer. Small pile up on turn. Number three has claimed that Black Nuts, the defending champion, has gone and Victor. 313, Craig Osborne from 209, Waller, Riddell, Smith, Sutty, Boxer Jack, I think Dan Van Dick, oh, Dutchman is up there as well. 372, on opposite, tags number two and puts him into the fence. Short at Brian Preston is lurking on the turn, and Boxer Jack will rattle 0 5 into the fence, but takes himself with it, and they fight their way through. Ryan Preston choosing a real bad place to get out of that car. And it's 209 Waller who's leading. 433 in second. 439 in third. 313 down to four. Triple two. 133 and eight double one. And it is absolutely frantic out there at the moment. 372 has a nibble of a leader and he's collected by 433 Ben Smith. Second place man in a world of trouble as the rest fight their way through. Colin Riddell up there as well. As 313 Osborne puts 433 Smith into the wall. 209, Waller leads. Yeah. 23, he leads and leads comfortably. 439 in second. So we've got Vincent being carried in second. 239 Nemesis turning around to blow up the lurking throw. Short is out of the running as well. Tom Waller leads. 22 being shown in second. 439 in third. Triple two in fourth. 433, 133. Could be 390. And they're absolutely flying. Craig Osborne, the early leader, has gone around on the pit's turn. And it's Tom Waller who leads. 209 leads. 22 in second. 439 in third. There is a question mark over Tom Foster. And the rest racing through in tonight's Unlimited Banger Supreme Championship. Already on lap number nine, a completely different race to what we saw 12 months ago. They are absolutely flying. On the back straight, 433, Ben Smith renews with Barry Overland. Fires up the back of him. And the rest come racing through. Dave Kingston has another to fall by the wayside. side. Oh, driving there was 113. Helps 372 into the fence. And the rest fighting on. And it's a very, very racy event. Tom Waller has gone! Tom Waller has gone! So we are now carrying 22 as the leader. This is subject to confirmation. We're halfway, Thomas, sorry. 439 in second, 133 in third, 390. 717, 222, and it was as Battle dumps out the recovered Waller in Riddell on the home straight. So again, Dave Vincent being carried as the leader. This is again subject to confirmation at the end of this one. 22, Vincent being shown as your leader. We've got 439 in second. There is also a question mark over 82, Tom Foster, as Pete Winter is another casualty. 439 is there, though. I believe 133 is there. And Scott Cornish is now looking to ruin someone's night. 415 making his way to the pitch turn. Who's he after in the Previa? And it's 415 with a huge head on, wipes out 390. And Cornish goes in on 390 in turn. The Mad Hatter getting wiped out on the pitch turn. 22, your leader. As Nemesis also gets a lick in on Gibbo. And now Nemesis grabs Iron Man Entertainer Trophy with a shot to Sean Riddell. 
Vincent still being carried as your leader. Picks his way through the pitch turn. Here comes Nemesis. He's got Bro coming up behind him. 4.39 seconds, 1.33 third, and it looks like it's 8.98 eight, eight, now, Andy Battle up into fourth. So the rest come through, Vincent the man up front, but is he starting to struggle a little bit, 22 leads. More drama, 2.29, collects 3.90, and Bro puts him into the wall. And now 1.33, Terry Hills come to grief. More action, and he's five to go next time as Nemesis destroys Colin Riddell with a huge hit on the pitch bend. And again, this is all subject to confirmation at the end, but 22 is being shown as the leader with five to run. There is a question mark as well over 82, Tom Foster, but we are certain the 439 is there in fourth. 898 is there as well. Four laps then for this man, Dave Vincent. His 13th attempt. Can he finally win it? Or is Scott Cornish going to spoil it? And is Tom Foster there as well? Could this, in fact, be the race for the lead? If it is, Cornish has just run a huge spanner in the works. Andy Bell gets wiped out. Sutton survives. Mutley coming to grief as well. There's not much left now. As 82, Tom Foster goes in on 3, 4, 6. And the rest fighting on. Dave Vincent is being shown as your leader. Nemesis ain't done. He now go to Mutley and takes him all the way in on the road turn. And Vincent's got caught up in that. Vincent's running to Dan Latham. 22 escapes, but 82 now may well have taken the lead. We are, there is a question mark over Tom Foster. Vincent still being shown as your leader. And it's 133 in third and 328 in fourth. The checkered flags will fall, provisionally at least, on David Vincent. He will take the checkered flag. But again, we've got a lot of work to do and this is over. This is a provisional result at the very, very best. We've got them all, Thomas. We're gonna have a red flag, please. And we will confirm your official race result just as soon as we're able to. Steve Carter, we don't have a trophy for fifth, Steve, That's fine, mate. but we do have an entertainer trophy which you've won for the second year in a row. Thank you very much. I, I really like this. I think this is a, is a good one. Did you enjoy that? You said, you know, the first few laps and then you'd go from there, but my God to hell, you were, you were putting it about, my man. Yeah, I was trying, mate. I, I got caught up in the traffic a few times and kept going at the start. I thought, I'll see how I get on. And then once I got caught up and spun out a bro, I thought, fuck it, I'll just try and hit everything I can. And what you just said there was duck it, I'll go for bro. That's, that's, yeah, that's exactly what you said, absolutely. No, I absolutely. Uh, exactly. Steve, will you please join us for the, for the uh, photographs? Don't go running away. In fourth place, your defending champion, 328, Dan Lathan. Well, Dan, a tough one, that one. We're about to get in the way. Look, we've got all the breakdowns trying to come off. Uh, Dan, how was that race for you? Uh, that was a lot better race than last year. It was a lot quicker. It was, it was, I mean, it was such a different race, but then at the end, everybody seemed to be like dropping like flies and you clawed your way back up. Pleased to come home in fourth? Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought I was going to do. With, uh, I was out for probably half a lap at the start, so. Well, I believe you were a lap down at the end. So a little bit like, yeah, there was very few again uh, on the lead lap, but pleased with fourth? Yeah, that'd do me. All right, congratulations. We'll get you in a moment for the photos. In third place on his Mildenhall debut, he's over here, 133, Terry Hill. If he can make his way through, Terry. Unlimited debut at Mildenhall tonight, third place in the big race. How are you feeling? Yeah, well chuffed. Enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it's good. good. Better than you, th did you do better than you thought or what, what do you think? I didn't even think I'd finish, so 
anything's a bonus, but I'm well chuffed for this. Good stuff. And will we see you a bit later on in the grand final? Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. We'll stick around. We're going to do the, 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 the photos in a moment. The runner-up finally confirmed. The young gun, number 82, Big T, Tom Foster. Now, Tom, I've got to ask, because... It got a little bit confusing, but at the very end, you, you were on Dave's back bumper. Something must have happened at the road turn, because all of a sudden you lost some time. What happened up on the road bend? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cars in the way. Cars in the way, that, that's a big thing. I've got to ask, disappointed to come so close or pleased to come second? Not bothered. Not bothered. Stick around, we're going to do the photos. And ladies and gentlemen, on his 12th attempt in his history in the making, the first ever world British and Supreme Champion, David Vincent! <laughs> Dave Vincent, you were one of two drivers in that race to have been in the first one and be in tonight's one. Only Boxer Jack has been in that race more than you. You have had more, and it ain't just top tens, you've had more top six finishes than anyone, more podiums than anyone. It was the one that always slipped away. You are now, as I just said, the first ever Speedworth World, BBA British, and Supreme Champion. How much does this mean to you? Um, I never thought I was gonna get it, to be honest. You always get one, what you don't win, so I'm chuffed a bit. And you look at it all, it's got the heritage. You've now got your name on that trophy forever. Is that a big deal? Oh, definitely, yeah. Can't and, and now you're in this race for a minimum of another three years. Oh. You had a new engine tonight, I believe. Did that make the difference? Um, I guess so. I don't, it went well, so I'm pleased with it. Tell me about it, because you were right at the back of the grid for that race. You scratched, you clawed, you battled your way through. How tough was it? It was a tough race, but, you know, it's one of them things, isn't it? You just keep trying. People get took out, don't they? So that's it, really. The worrying thing is now I've got to do another interview with you. So have I got to ring you at your mum and dad's again? Yeah, best place. Yeah, good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, your new supreme champion is David Vincent. We'll send your trophy winners around in just a moment.